Hello and welcome to Grace TV. I am Dr. Rubina, gynecologist and an IVF specialist. Grace TV is your own YouTube channel where we talk about fertility, we talk about IVF, gynae issues, fertility related issues and anything related to women health. So I am going to tell you about fibroids today. This is a very frequently asked question and I am going to tell you the, the facts about fibroids which everybody should know. Fibroid is a very commonly used term, mostly seen between 40 to 45 years of age group. It's a benign, non-cancerous structure which originates from the muscle of the uterus. Yes, it is non-cancerous, so nothing to worry about. But we cannot leave it unnoticed. Fibroids can vary in size, can vary in shape, can vary in location. The treatment, your doctor can tell you as per your findings about fibroid. Number two, fibroids may or may not cause symptoms. That means fibroid can be left unnoticed if it doesn't cause symptoms. Large fibroids sometimes can be unnoticed. A very recently, we saw a patient in our OPD where she had large fibroid, came to us for infertility treatment, completely asymptomatic, no symptoms at all. Just on a routine ultrasound, we found out she had 10 centimeter fibroids. So, fibroids can be asymptomatic and can be left unnoticed. But sometimes, fibroids can be symptomatic. Now, I would like to tell you the symptoms of fibroid. Fibroids can cause heavy bleeding, can cause pain during periods, can cause pelvic pain, a chronic discomfort in the pelvis or excessive bleeding and repeated periods. So all of these symptoms are very important and if you are facing any of these symptoms, see the doctor. Doctor will tell you what treatment is required if you have fibroid. Third, a very commonly asked question. Daughter asks about mother. Mother asks for daughter. So if mother has a fibroid, are there chances that daughter will have fibroid? Yes. If your mother has a fibroid and there's a family history of fibroid which runs in your family, you are a you are at little higher risk of getting fibroid. The fourth interesting point is, does fibroid cause infertility? Yes. The big answer is yes. So large fibroids can cause infertility. They can distort the cavity, they can push the uterus, they can push the tubes or ovaries. So you must undergo surgery. But the smaller fibroids, asymptomatic, away from cavity, not disturbing any of the structures, will not cause infertility. But the good tip here will be, see a fertility specialist if you have been diagnosed with fibroid and you are trying to get pregnant. The fifth interesting point is, can these fibroids be treated with medicines? A very commonly asked question. Does all fibroids need surgeries? The big answer, no. Not all fibroids needs to be operated. The, not all fibroids need surgery. Small fibroids can be treated with medicines, but yes, all of these medicines just shrink the size of the fibroids. But once the medicines are stopped, they can regrow. Large fibroids, unfortunately, can only be treated with surgeries. Now, surgery can be either open surgery or can be laparoscopic. Consult your doctor so that doctor tells you what treatment suits you the best. Six point, yes, fibroids decline after menopause. That's because the hormones come down. The, if the hormones comes down, the size of the fibroid shrinks. Small to average size fibroids shrink and can become asymptomatic. But large fibroids, unfortunately, will still need treatment. To know more about gynae related queries, you can call us, you can email us or you can log on to our website www.graceivf.com. We will be more than happy to help you. Thank you.